Wait, I'm in Williamstown, West Virginia. We haven't been in this store on video yet, but I've made a bunch of videos here. Um, it says we buy antiques 304 375 6315. Later, I'll get back. Look at that. Later. All right, I'm in this store and I've been talking to this guy, and he's an honest guy and he's knowledgeable, and there's a lot of nice stuff in here for sale, and the prices are excellent, especially on some of the nicest stoneware I've seen in any antique store I've been in in the valley. He also has some legitimate arrowheads these are all nice pieces they look like they're probably from a field around parkersburg or marietta little alls and they're priced right and there's more in here there's three frames in here there's little bifurcates in here and some serrated points there's a nice dark point and there's some bigger ones bigger pieces but now come up here and i'll show you a few of these Look at these Crocs. This guy is very knowledgeable on this stuff. And look, look at the prices. Look at this Donahoe Croc right here. Look how beautiful and huge this is. $8.25. That's a nice price on that. Now look at all these. Bridgeport, West Virginia, Wheeling. And this guy's written books on stainware, so. You can call there's a beautiful wheeling. Book. Yeah, here's his book right here. He's Two real big in the Donahue. You know, I'm right across from where this, or here, place to where this stuff was made, and he's written both of these books. So, and look at this. You can come right in this store and look at these Crocs. If you want to make a trip, like from out of the area, this is the place to come if you're into this kind of stuff. I didn't even make it back into the store when I got here. I just stopped right here and I've been looking around for an hour. See, this book has other stuff. It's not just Donahue. Yeah, look at this. Cottageville, West Virginia. This this is great. There's James Hamilton and Company. You've seen me dig a few of these. Look at all the Belpre, Ohio, everything's in here. There's a Hannibal one right there, huh? Or no? Look. That's a Rathbone. Yeah. That's really nice. Well, I'll get back to you here, folks. I'll show you more stuff in the store, and I'll show you more of these awesome crocs. There's a lot of them misspelled, too. They See? Got the e out of here's a J.A. Franz Grocers, Liquors, Pomeroy, Ohio, and this one's six fifty, and really nice. And that's a good price. That's a rare croc. That's an excellent price. You know, in that other antique mall I go to, that croc would be fourteen hundred dollars. Twelve to fourteen hundred. There's a spit tan. Yeah, look at that. A spit tan. I've never seen one of these. And that's that's four fifty. Yeah, that's nice. Imagine digging that. Wow. This makes me want to go. I'm gonna have to go as soon as it dries out go up to one of my dumps and dig some holes and try to find another one of these. Wow, folks. Look at all this. Plus the guys written books. And look at the store. I gotta get back here and look around and film some stuff and stop BSing with this guy. I'll get back later. Look at this. this is just another few feet. Just look at all the stuff to look at. There's bottles everywhere and all of it's nice. These are three bucks a piece. They can be cleaned up. These are old Schumbach wheeling ones. Old blind ones for $3. There's bottles laying around everywhere. That's an odd one. But now you just, you see? Look at this stuff. Oh, what the? That's a weird looking thing. That looks like something off Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Like these puppets, you know what I mean? Huh. You could stand right here and look at this stuff for five minutes and still miss something. Yeah, look, there's just... Barrett Jersey Dairy, that's a nice looking milk. I didn't even see all these.
There's there's a Parkersburg one. That's nice. Parkersburg Creamery. $24. That's a good price. Par Parkersburg on the back. That's a nice milk. There's lots of embossed ones back in there. I hate to handle them. Always afraid I'm going to bust one. You see all the way up through here. Most of this, you know, we're right in Williamstown, so there's all that glass from the glass factories and stuff, and a lot of this is what it is. Fenton, a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Yeah, here's more marbles. What I've been looking for. These are Victory Agates. Most of them. There's some swirls in there. But somebody's got here before me and took the best bags. There's a few nice, the best ones are gone. There's some marbles, but these are newer ones. A mixture. There's a few older ones in there. They're still nice, though. All right, this is a good place for you to stop. Um, right here's where I'm at. You can pause this. Right there's all the information you'll need to call this guy. He's very knowledgeable when you say, look at the Crocs. He wrote two books. Um, he's got coins too, you can, but this is unbelievable on the Crocs. And he has many, many more. He told me he has like, I don't know, 500 real nice ones. He's got everything you'll want. Anything you want to know about, he knows about it on Ohio Valley Crocs. If I have any questions, I'm just going to call this guy. Look at that wheel wheeling one there. You can come look at all of these. E.R. Jackson, Allegheny, PA. If you're in Ohio, West Virginia, or Pennsylvania, you want to get into this stoneware, this guy will make you some pretty good deals. That's a good... I should buy that. That's an investment quality crop from Palmer away at a good price. He's willing to come down a little, he told me, and that is an investment quality crop, rare crock. If I found that, I'd never sell it. I'd be flipping out. There's another wheeling one. Look at how beautiful. And you're not going to get fake junk here. This guy is reputable, and he's honest. I've talked to him. You know that right away. Later. I'll put old Squirrel Man at the end of this video, but look at this. Squirrel brand salted peanuts. Is that 10? Is no, that's no? cardboard. Cardboard, that's even rarer though. Yeah. Well, Finding a cardboard. Extreme. That's awesome. Look at that face. Look at all this stuff. That's a really unique piece right there too, isn't it? stuff in this store. I'll get back. I can't believe how awesome every I mean look at this display right here. I could stay here all day. It's all high end stuff. There's no junk here. There's the airheads. Look at this. That's awesome with the Indian on it. 68 bucks. Imagine that framed in a real nice frame in your airhead room. It's really nice. prices he's willing to work on. He owns the store. He doesn't sell any place else. Um, you know that crock that I said, 600 bucks. That's a good price at that price, but he'll work with you. Maybe if you buy tea, you get some money off. That's how these kind of places work. But don't lowball him. That ain't cool. They ain't offer half. He has good prices. That's a very unique piece. That's very unique. 
You know, medical kit. Look at the old photos. Cigar holder. Here's marbles. Look at this. There's a bag of my original Marble Kings, 14 bucks. And there's some nice ones in there. There's Vetro Cat Eyes. See how much that is. I don't see a price. Huh. Well, I have never seen a Horlicks Malted Milk Cat bag. Look, the original cat. Original top on that. And look at that Horlicks. It's got the original paper card. And there's the little ones. Huh. This is unbelievable. This place is like a museum. This is in Williamstown, West Virginia. Look at that. Look at that old brush set. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'll get back. I'll find some more interesting stuff. I could just not turn this off, honestly. Look at all this stuff. Look at the toys here. Holy mackerel. This stuff's amazing. Look at this. Huh. Look at all these little cast iron pieces. This stuff is awesome. There's an old beer. That looks like a wheeling one. It is. $10. That's a good price. It's got the egg on it. It's a shoebox. It's a really nice condition. It's machine made. I'd buy it if it was bland. There's a wink. That's nice condition. Six bucks. I find these in the dump. There's one of these Lucky Joe Banks. I found these before too. This one's been painted, but it's got the original cap. Ten dollars. That's a good price. You can get that painting off. I'm gonna buy that because I have see this too often. There's a better bottle. It's 30 bucks with the original. Heck, it's never been opened. It's sealed with the bitters in it. Lashes tonic bitters. Lashes bitters. You can see how that that has to be a good price for 30 bucks with all the label on it just to have that if you dig bottles. And here's other ones too with labels. You just didn't see this. Blood and Nerve Bitters. R Duty and Company. You just didn't see that. China something. Bisser. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Right. Bottles, look at this in purple here, milk, Acme Dairy. But look at this thing. High Ground Dairy Company, Brooklyn, New York, Madison Street, 451 to 453. Registered with a, like an L kid on it with the topper, 70 bucks. I might have to buy, just buy that for me. That's one of the nicer milks I've seen for a while. I think I might. I'll probably have to do a couple videos here. I'll walk just like a foot. Look at these candy containers. I've not seen that one ever. There's a woman there and a little kid. I haven't seen that one. Well, wow. Toy, I've seen that one before. Amos and Andy. The flea market one time and I remember. And look at that. It's like a movable bank, I think, maybe, or maybe a nutcracker, I can't tell. That's awesome. Kind of go slow over this here. And I'm heading back to the back corner. My mom's back here, I'll be back. This, just this one trip here, I'd say 10 videos. Look at all this stuff. Anything, that you, all of it's high end. This guy don't have any junk in his store. There's no flea market items here. 
this is the kind of store I would have if I did this right here this would be my stuff look at this you know this is some newer stuff but there's older stuff here too look at that old ink set that's beautiful there's lots of little nice items in every one of these cases look at that old canoe kind of looks like Hummel stuff it is 30 each I don't collect stuff like that but it's collectible uh, all right I just was kind of showing you around here this would be a good place for you to stop if you collect crops but uh, what the heck is it and there's some other cool bottles here I didn't see this no, that's an old root beer hires that's a blown one but I haven't seen this Lazelle's Satchet Powder that's kind of nice it's got a glass stopper on it it's a nice little bottle check out this one it says Geo something wholesale gross druggists something Pittsburgh PA and then it's made Repert it's the Repert from the Greensboro look how nice yeah, that is yeah I've not it tells the maker and then it tells who you made it for and they, they demand a little higher price yeah that's that's really nice that's a beautiful yes